ask you something from the Bible itself. Would it be okay in any context to kill a child? No. Okay, deliberately. No? What if, what if, 1 Samuel 15.3. 1 Samuel, yeah. Yes. God tells him to kill everyone. Not just 1 Samuel, even before that. Yeah, even Numbers 23. Okay? Yeah. So, do you think that is a good thing or a bad thing? So, let's answer it in context. Yeah, go on. Yeah. Here, again, I'm untrained. Whatever I have is not from No, no, wait, brother, wait. You have to I'm wait. I'm not now. affiliated with anybody. This is my own. It's a different topic now. That I'm in the park. So, yeah. please excuse my ignorance of a few things. But whatever I know, let me answer. Yeah, go on. Okay. So, God did command that. It was for a specific time, for a specific place. Now, let me let me also shift. I'll just shift gears and come back. Like, for example, in the <clears throat> Quran, how... No, no, don't God go to Quran. No, 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 we'll I'm get to the Quran you, later. I'm giving an example. I know, but we'll get I mean, to the Quran later. First, explain this. Jews, you kill the Christians. First, ex the first explain this. There's one children. Is it right or not? Not children. Okay. I'm, not children. Jews and Christians. In the context of war, yes, but not children. Where does it say not to kill the ch children? Okay, I'll come back to that. I'll come back. But Hold on. Do you know we don't just go by the Quran? We have the Hadith as well. Tell me where. Okay. Even the Hadith, the Hadith, the Prophet Sallallahu even his army, when they used to go to war, he used to instruct them, don't kill the women, the children, the non-combatants, the people in the synagogues, the people in the church, the priests, not to, not to, not to, not to kill the animals, not to cut down the crops. I can talk to you okay? one to one. Well, I'm only one, so it's one to one, don't worry. I can talk to you. Okay, so, so once again, once again, once again, you said, you said in any context it is wrong. Sensitive of people's feelings, so I don't want. I'm Which people's feelings? Because I know that people can be offended when I say things. That's why I'm a little sensitive. Uh, I don't think. I think that has gone out the window a long time ago <laughs> when you started to question Aisha. Yeah. But anyway, look. No, so I, you that's what I'm saying, did you not? I'm holding back. Did you not admit? You can that say it that is, I got a lot of things as well. Yeah. Did you not? Ad, did you not admit? I know, the Bible, I know the Bible. I know the Bible. Can we talk, brother? Brother. Let me finish this point and then you can, yeah. That's, that's fine. So they, you already admit in any context it's wrong to kill children, am I right? Okay? And then it's on camera. There's a context there. Okay, so in which context? I'm not on the camera context. No, no, that's fine. So in what context? In what context it is okay to kill children? Yeah, you'll have your turn. Join the queue. <laughs> You're next. All right. What what is it? What is in what context okay, can you kill children? Just like. By the way, infants, yeah, infants. Just, just like you have. Uh, no, no. Don't don't do what about re? You keep doing that all the time. Okay. Oh, try to answer. No, no. Try to answer. If I look when when you asked me about Aisha or the Alanda, I answered and then I brought in the marriage situation. I answered first. So first you answer, and then you can bring the Quran. No problem. Okay. Right now the question is this: an infant. You know what's an infant? How old is an infant? How old? Just born. Yeah. So anyone below the age of two, two and below, is an infant. Okay, you must have, I don't know if you travel with your children, you get a lot of discount if you travel with an infant. All right, so this is an infant ticket. So with, with an infant, in any context, is it justified to kill an infant who is below two or below the age of two? There are some times where it is justified. Okay, let me give me, give me that. Let give me put it this way. No, no, give me the context. In a war, there are no children. No, no, I'm saying deliberate killing. This is a war. I'm talking about a war. No, no, deliberate targeting. Exactly. Deliberate targeted. In a war. No, we're not talking about. In a war. No, no, no. There's a difference. Wait, wait. What you're talking about is in a war by accident it can happen. But I'm talking about deliberate targeted killing. Are you telling me that if God tells you to kill every male, every female, every child, every infant, the oxen, the donkey, uh, the donkeys yes. and all in the numbers in Samuel it says it. Yes, so first Samuel. So this is targeted but killing. You understand that it's a war. Big difference. For a one time it is a war and it is because they have to possess that land and why? Okay, so there's a lengthy answer to it, right? Oh, oh. So first thing. So you you think it was a war? The first, it was a war. No, it you wasn't. Discounted. It no. Was a war. Have you read the Bible? It was a war. Have you got the Bible on you? Yes. You believe? Have you got I, the Bible on you? Yes, I've, I've got it on now. Yeah, bring bring up First Samuel. Go on, read it. I agree. Show me where the war is. I agree with you. Wait, let me come. Let me. Finish. So you don't you agree with me. Ask me a question. Yes. Let me answer you. Go on. You and I agree. Read it from the Bible. You and I agree. Actually, we don't. You're saying it's a war. No, I'm no, saying it's not. You've not heard me out. You and I agree. What? That in the context of a war, children can be killed. Now, first of all, the land. Actually, of I don't. Israel, targeted killing, no. 
Don't put okay, words okay, in okay, fine. No, So don't I agree? Okay, so let's come to this. The land of Israel was given to the Jews, right? According to the Quran, according to the Bible, huh? land of Israel is for... There the wasn't a land of Israel. It was a land of the Canaanites. Land of Canaanites, <laughs> yeah. So, so it was under the people's... I, I know why you're do you saying agree? that. I know why but do you not believe it's a land of the Canaanites? Correct, fine. So it's it was the Canaanites. Fine. There was no land of Israel before. Fine, it was the land of the Canaanites. Thank you. Right. So yeah. somebody else's land. Go on. Yeah. Yeah. I'm listening. Why? Why did God give it to them? You tell me. The question still is, you're trying to justify the killing of infants. Of course, because of course. I, you know, I hear this from terrorists, not from people who are professing Christianity. Of course. But anyway, God, God allowed them to live there. He said, "Go there and live. You can live there." He didn't say it's your possession. He allowed them. No, but this particular passage, I only know where it's a war. The Canaanites, Canaanites, to be annihilated. Why? Because they were living in homosexuality. They had. Sexual infants. Sexual infants. Yeah. Allow me. Are you saying infants? Infants no. were homosexuals. Were gay, gay, where are you getting this from? Please. Please. They, they were gay Seriously, chicken. man. They of were gay course. chickens. You know, if, if my I question know, was about infants. Hold on. My question was related to infants. Don't change the question. Don't change the context. Don't change. No, you said. Okay. What was my question? Let's see if you understood it. What was my question? Was how can you justify killing of infants? Thank you. Give me five minutes. Yeah, five minutes yeah. to justify killing infants. Okay, give me a minute. Give me a minute. <laughs> this is what we have to put up with Christians today. They justify killing infants, and they need five minutes to explain. I don't justify killing infants. Okay. Also, you think it's wrong. Oh man! Make up your mind. Can okay. can you so can't have your. When you had your chance last time, so you're going to repeat the same thing, right? When the Islamists yes. went into all the Christian lands and killed the people. They never killed any infants. Who is that? They never killed any infants. When, so when Muslims did this. When Muslims did this. Wait, wait. Did accidentally no infants. No, no, you said accidentally. Did God sanction it in the Quran? Or the Hadith? Of, no. What, what was Say the no, no, answer, answer yeah, the question. I, that's why when I spoke about Can you please Quran, answer the question? Why, why did, did, why God did God in the Quran did, did or the Hadith sanction it? Jews and the Christians. Why did God say that? Can you answer? That's in, that's in context of Can you answer right? my question first? That's in context of Okay, what? if you're not going to answer my question, I'm going to answer yours. Okay, this is, if you're going to play dirty, and this is what you're doing right now, in the Quran, in the Quran or the Hadith, if you can show me a single passage, are you listening? If you can show me a single passage, either in the Quran or the Hadith, where Allah deliberately seeks out children, sorry, infants, or even children so no, to be killed. No you That's can show me an evidence, but in the Bible, I'm, a, I'm able to show you not only from one one verse, but in several verses. Explicit doesn't mean it. Explicit, yeah, explicitly killing, targeted killing of infants in the Bible. First Samuel 15:3. Okay, Numbers 23:19. In both cases, killing of children is there. In fact, you know, in Numbers 23:19, you're asked to kill all the children except whom? Virgin girls. The virgin girls. Okay, now if you're going to use the excuse about they were homosexuals, they were X, Y, and Z, why spare the girls? Because they wanted to keep them as sex slaves. Yes, go and read your Bible. Yes. No, I want to hear what you say. No, he's offended with sex slavery. Is okay with killing them? Sex slavery is an Islamic concept. Sex slavery is an Islamic concept. There's no. Show me, show me sex slave. Wait, wait. Show me sex slave anywhere in the Quran or the Hadith. You are digressing. You, you, you are going to answer. Yeah, you are going to answer the question about the infants. Let me answer. Let me answer. Let me answer. So. We know that the nation, the, uh, the uh, land of the Canaanites, as you say, was given to the nation of Israel. They were meant to dispose, uh, uh, dispose the uh, people who were living in that land because God could not tolerate the level of their sin anymore, right? So they were ordered to dispose of all the people in the land, in certain cases, even the cattle. Hmm. In the that case, so that is... Why the cattle? There was gay cattle. You don't want me to go to Islam? I guess so. There was gay cattle. Or sinning cattle. See, 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 again, again. Brother, brother, you need to wait your turn, please. He's having a conversation. We already are like three people, so let's be fair. Okay, so with all due respect, are you trying to say that was a reason for killing infants? Yes? Are you, are you saying that was a reason for killing infants? Okay, shall we open your Bible and see because the reason is given there. He didn't do it last time. I want you. Have you got the Bible on you? No, no, no. Have you got the Bible on you? Okay, open 1 Samuel 15 and read it from the beginning. Because the answer is actually given in there. What you're trying to justify from your, I don't know, your, your infant killing mind 
or the barbarism that you come from, I don't know, killing infants because uh, their parents were gays or homosexuals and killing even the... Would you, would you accept that you, you haven't given him a chance to give you a fourfold reason why? You're asking him a question. No, I asked him a question. A hold on, hold on. Yeah. I think I gave him ample chance and time to answer the question. But the, everything he gave was not from the Bible. I'm asking you, the answer is in 1 Samuel 15. He wouldn't open the Bible when I asked him to. Okay, he has a, he has a digital Bible on him, but he, he refused to open it. Would you, would you be willing to open the Bible on your phone and then read it? Because the answer is given in there. Read it out loud. 1 Samuel 15, beginning, from the beginning. The whole thing? No, no, just from the first three, the first three passages. Samuel said to Saul, I am the man who, who Yehovah, I'm reading Yehovah, Yehovah yeah, sent yeah. to anoint you as the king of his people Israel. So now listen to the words of Yahweh. This is what Yahweh Shabbat says. I intend to punish what Amalek did to Israel, laying a trap for him on the way as he was coming out of Egypt. Mm. Coming back to the point that I was making. Yeah. Now, go and crush Amalek and put him under the curse of destruction and all he possesses. No, no, read it, read it, finish it. The, rest of it, yeah. the juicy bit. Do not spare man donkey. Uh, this is what I said. No, no, why are you so, why are you so embarrassed to read it? Do not say, read it I'm accepting it. Oh, read it. Man, woman, babe, suckling sheep, uh, camel dog. Yeah, just this bit, yeah? Sir. Why are you so embarrassed to read it? No. The I'm other bit you read with, with clarity. Yeah, read, read no pause, right. no hesitation. Because but this, this bit. Agree. No, no, this bit. Know, in fact, I told But have you got a problem reading it? In fact, I told Have you got a problem reading it? Reading it. In fact, I told Have you got a problem reading it? So read it then, please. It's also the animals. It's also like no, no, read it. I, I want to hear it from you. I want to hear it from you. You said I'm not reading it from the Bible. I already told you this. Can, can you please read it without hesitating? Yeah, but you said I was not reading Just read Bible. it, please. Just, just read it. Don't hesitate, read. Okay. Saw some of the people and reviewed uh, them at Chalayim. 200,000 foot soldiers. No, 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 no. The bit before that. Verse okay. 3, verse 3, the one you skipped, yeah, yeah, the one you're embarrassed to read. Which I told you. Read it. Which I told you. No, I don't want, no, no, read it. I told you see, this is the fitra. This is the fitra from the guy who is not willing to even read it. He read everything else. I said it to him. He knows. Now I want him to read it. Because I want to know why. He wants me to read it. Yes. Just read it. No, no, but read it. Why are you embarrassed? Why are you wasting time? If you've said it, if you've said it, okay. is it, is that a problem reading it from the Bible? But you have a problem that I said it and not read it from the Bible. I never said you had a problem. I'm talking from the Bible. I'm talking from okay. the Bible. Do you want to read it? Do you want to read it? Okay, read it. Because this guy is embarrassed. Okay, by the way. It's there. I'm going to say. It's there. Whatever you said. Okay, so what was the reason, what was the reason God gave for the killing? They attacked them from behind when they Egypt. left Egypt. No, when it wasn't from behind. From Egypt. Yeah. What was the reason? When they came out from Egypt. Yes. What did I Do you know when that happened? Yeah. Do you know when it happened? Yes. So what was the duration in time from the time the the Amalekites your name killed is... killed the? You didn't give me your name. I'm oh. sure. <laughs> so, the, the, my name is Hashim. I have no issues with that. Okay. So during the time when the Amalekites killed Jews when they were coming from the Exodus, yes. From that time, from the uh, and the duration of this injunction to kill every male, every female, every child, every infant, the oxen and the donkeys. No, I have more than that. Say over three hundred years. Three to four hundred years. Yes. Okay. Now you're talking about not those people who actually killed. You're talking about the children's children's children. Okay. So shall we say at least at least a few generations down the line? Okay. So what was the reason? The reason was vengeance. No, it wasn't. There was a continuation of war with Amalek. Amalek tried to wipe them out for three hundred years. They can Where does it say that in the Bible? Yeah, hold on. Let me finish first. So you said there is a a gap of three to four hundred years. Okay. You agreed with that, and then. The reason God actually gives this vengeance. In fact, it says this in the NIV. Yours was which version of your? What, what version of the Bible is that? Yeah, well, that one is the uh, Apocrypha. Why are you reading from the Apocrypha? No, no, no. He said he doesn't accept it. You do. Okay, you're a different kind of Christian. Okay, just Thank you. I don't want to be in the camera. That's one. This one? Which one? I'll send it to the bottom one. The bottom one. Okay. Okay, Hashem, can I ask? Yeah. yeah. Can I answer? Yes. Uh, remember, again, what I'm saying is from the Bible. Men, women, donkeys, everything. It is there. I don't need to read it because I've read it. You've read it. No, you haven't read it. Okay. You're afraid to read now, it. <laughs> again, going back. Yeah. God 
God's pro God told the children of Israel that they have to completely get rid of all those people. They did not do it to the Amalekites. They did not do it. Therefore, it was unfinished business, not vengeance, that God asked them to do. But God says they're vengeance. You are disagreeing yes. with God now? Yeah, of course. Of your Bible? That's, that's a long pending thing. This is what they did to you. Go do it. So was it vengeance or not? No, this is what they were supposed to Hold do. Hold on. Is it vengeance or not? If they did not do it before... Is, sorry. Because this guy never answers the question. Is it vengeance or not? Was, they were supposed to do 300 years earlier. Can you please answer the question? They were yes, supposed no. to do Okay. Years yes, they were supposed to. They didn't do it. They didn't so, do it. So, so was it vengeance or not? Was, they were supposed to do 300 years ago. They did not do it. Was it? Therefore, do it now. Okay. So, so, you want so your thing is okay. Let me, let me ask you this. So today, you know, today there are many people who are the descendants of the Nazis. Guys, guys, please, please, please. I can't hear. Yeah, I know. Please take it away. Okay. Today, there are many children of the Nazis. Yes? So would you say it's unfinished business, we should kill the children? And no, it's okay? So that's immoral. We should not. This commandment... Did you hear that? We should not. Again, we are again put it in context. This commandment was only for those people. Not even for... So the children... So the children of Amalekites are not children? For anybody else. It was only for the Amalekites and for... Why? 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 Please do not... Change By the way, it wasn't only Amalekites, the numbers 2319 as well. I got another okay? where children, Jesus is asking children to be killed. Can I ask yeah. one thing? Jesus oh, is oh, asking oh, children to be killed. Let's put a resolution to Matthew 15, 4. Okay, yeah, brother, wait, please. Okay, so, so, so numbers 2319 was another one I showed you. Okay? By the way, this was, do you know this was Moses's, uh, what do you say, his uh, wife's tribe? Okay? The people who were, the, the, uh, the people who were asked to be killed. Mm. In Numbers 23, 19. Can you show that? I gave you the reference. Open your Bible for, for a change. You love to... I don't know. I love to quote the Bible out of context. I destroyed you already. I destroyed you already. Watch the video on our wife from his... How I destroyed him. By the way, we already have one here. You can join the queue as well. Yeah. So are you going to read it? Numbers 23, 19. And if you think he's out of context, put it in context. Unlike that guy. So why are you saying it? You don't believe in it. So why are you quoting it? No, exactly. Probably woman it. He believes in it, unlike you. Just one quick question. You know, if the end of the world came right now and all the Muslims are saved yeah? yeah okay does that mean that all the Christians Jews Hindus and six children the little babies and the pregnant women they would be killed by Allah yes or no can I answer the answer okay there's a difference between God killing directly yes through natural calamities yes. through other means like like the tsunamis and the floods yes. and the earthquakes and so on yeah, yeah. and God asking or commanding yeah. his people the people yeah. of Israel to go and kill every female every infant every child and every oxen there's a big difference no wait 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 a minute I'm answering I'm still answering okay so when you actually advocate it and then sanction it to the people because you know the people imagine this if you were go if you were asked to kill an infant would you no, I wouldn't. would you kill an infant by your hand you wouldn't both of you are saying no why is that because this is not from the fitra this is not from the natural disposition of a human being at least a rational one unlike hitler or the nazis or the ML, uh, the, the the jews during the time of uh, uh, the amalekites or the jews during the time of moses who were asked to kill uh, infants and save only the girls who were virgins okay now you will not find such an injunction in the Quran because you see when Allah says he will not burden a soul beyond his scope the reason you guys will not do it and I will not do it is because it's beyond the scope of our our humanity Allah will not ask you to do something like that to go I mean imagine going to every door knocking it okay do you have women children can you please come out and you hack them to death individually from door to door this is the the only commandment you'll see in any holy book is in the Bible it's in the Bible there's nothing romantic about it what about Abraham that is what about Abraham who was sacrificed during Abraham's time no, I'm asking. No, no, I'm asking you as well. Yeah. Who was sacrificed during the time of Abraham? No, no one, no one. No, there was someone. Saint. It was a ram. Can it I, wasn't a human. Can I ask you something? Can I ask you something? Yes, I do. Yeah. As, 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 it was a test of Abraham. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was a test of Abraham's righteousness. Can, can I ask you something? And God, as soon as he was about to slaughter his son, yeah. yes, God replaced, substituted that with an animal. Okay? But in the case of Jesus, he himself was 
sacrifice. So it is a human sacrifice in the case of Jesus. In the case of Abraham, it's an animal sacrifice. Can I, Big difference. Can I ask you something? Yeah, go on. Tell you, I'm asking you yeah, go on, from go on. the point of view, from a Muslim yeah, point sorry. of view. No worries. If, for example, yeah. God commanded. I've already answered that question. No, no, listen to the question. Have you heard the answer? If your neighbor, the Amaleks, right? Yeah. We're burning their own children, their own children, and this is in the Bible. Everything I'm going to tell you, I can show you. Yeah. They were burning their own children to the devil. They were eating human flesh. Yeah. They had paedophilia, incest, homosexuality, and sex with animals, amongst other things. That's your neighbors, okay? In today's world, yeah. people kill for less than that. I'm telling you that these people, you're looking at them as women of, of today's world, pregnant, no one would kill an innocent woman. What's your argument? The argument is these people were sick, they were like beasts, not humans, yeah. almost. So what that, should you do as a human? I'm trying to explain to you. I'm asking you. I'm trying to tell you. I've got, your, I've yeah, got the context. You, if God commanded me, let me tell you, you asked me if, if, if I would, if God commanded me, these people had this nature and they were going to grow up and their kids we're going to have the same nature yeah. and they were going to attack me for revenge, for example, in the years to come, then I would carry out God's order, yes. Okay, so you would kill infants? I just told you, under the context of them six things. Okay. If that was so let me, nature, wait, wait, wait. they were like animals, okay. yes. Can I respond now? Yes. Okay, so let me get this right. So you're saying the context is such, Listen, where, yes. where the, all this barbaric treatment of humans is going on. So what, you, would, what, what you would do is, you would actually do them a favor by doing it for them. No, what I'm saying is... That's what he's saying, basically. Listen, I will go... In that context, I'll kill the no, infants. I mean, this is... No, this is... No, two, two wrongs no, don't no, make a right. I told you no, this no, last time. The difference out. is... Brother, wait, wait, That please. when they die, no, yes, God yeah. knew that we were inherently evil. They would not change. And Jesus went into the heart of the earth. Priest, they still didn't want to know. Yeah. They were like animals. My friend, listen. They were animals. Just because they're animals doesn't mean you become one. No, that's what they were. Okay, that is the teaching yeah, of Islam. Why Islam, you know, you know what Islam taught us? He didn't want them to just because, the, he just because them. you are barbarians no, he doesn't not. mean you become a barbarian no, and start he, killing their children. He did not want okay? the Israelites. This is not from Islam, maybe no, he Christianity, not, yes. He did not want the Israelites to become like them. He didn't well, want them to okay, know evil. No, no, evil is not something that you inherit. You become a good person by looking at someone who's a good example. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah. Just because you think your neighbors are cruel and evil. No, look, God I listen to you. I listen to you. Allow me to answer. Uh, yeah. Okay? So just because you see your neighbors are cruel and evil and do barbaric rituals, and even if they burn their children and kill and indulge in uh, homosexuality or whatever you said, okay? The question still remains. Does it make it right for you to kill their children? If, if God has commanded... So okay, so yes. that's, that's exactly if what I'm God saying. Commanded, earlier, yes. you know, earlier I asked you, if no, God commanded... Wait, wait, yeah, wait a minute. Under normal, a normal wait a minute. Being, wait not, a minute. Yeah, I was not okay. a woman. So you're saying... No. Okay, let me ask you this. If God commands you, whether under a normal situation or under, under a situation which is abnormal, like the one you described, where there is a lot of evil going on, yes. what is the end result? Uh, killing, killing an infant. Okay, an infant doesn't know right from wrong. But wait, 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 I'm, I'm still answering. I'm still answering. No, no, that's your, that's your assumption. That's what God's no, no, that's your that's assumption. You know, I'll give you an example from yeah. the hadith. You know, the Prophet yeah. Yeah. when he went to give da'wah to the Ta'if, the people yeah. of Ta'if, which is in Saudi Arabia yeah. today, yes, those people, they all rejected his message. Yeah. In fact, they drove him away from their, uh, from their, uh, from the area. Yeah. They stoned him to the extent where he was bleeding so much yeah. that his shoe, shoes filled with blood, you know? An angel came to him and he asked them, shall I crush, shall I crush these people between these two mountains? Do you know what was the response of the Prophet Sallallahu Yes. He said, if they don't accept my message, surely their children will accept it. And today that is exactly what happened. All of Saudi Arabia, including the place in Taif, they are now believers in monotheism. Yes. They left their, pagan, uh, their paganism behind and they believe and worship one God. Wait, wait. But what is, but your teaching, your teaching is the opposite. To kill the children is okay. In certain context. If God knows in advance, which he does, because he's all knowledgeable. If he knows that them children are going to grow up and do God doesn't say that. That's your assumption. No, I'm telling you. God doesn't say that. I can tell you where. Show me where God says when they grow up, they become, uh, they become evil. Show me where he says that. Does it take time? Yeah, go on. in Matthew 15, 4, Jesus is commanded to kill the children. Yeah, I'm coming to that. I'm coming to that. Yeah. Yeah. You, you're saying, you're saying yeah. that God, I'm coming. I'm coming. God commanded them to do this. Yeah. You're saying God... I gave you the reason why. I have a question, yeah? 
Did he? Read this. Did God actually read that passage again? Read it again. Which one? Which one? Read Where he the, the, one, one, the one that even are going to be bad. Yeah, like us. yeah. Read that passage again. Read, read that passage again. God knew that. Hey, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Okay. While he, while he's finding you, go on. Ask your, your question. Children yeah. do not get killed, according to you. I never said that. No. I never said that. Don't put words in my mouth. No. But then. He then didn't why say are you that. Talking about yes, explicitly okay. said, yeah. but there no war. That's yeah, what yeah, naturally yeah. happens. No. The entire cities are burned. But, here's the but that was a war. That, that, that was vengeance after four hundred years. Here's vengeance after four hundred years. No vengeance. Okay, no vengeance. No. Here's the difference. It says vengeance in the Bible. Here's the difference. Four hundred years. Here's the difference. I agree to you. Yeah. Make sure the term Amalekite is there. The term Amalekite. Yes. Difference. Make sure the term Amalekite is there. Here's the difference. The Bible says, write this on a scroll. Something to be remembered that will make Joshua. Joshua is the one who comes after yeah. him. Here, because I will completely blot out the name of Amalek yeah. from under heaven. Exodus 17, 14. Here, I'm not making. So, what, what is the That's point it. you're trying to make here? What I'm trying to say is, God had always planned. This was the point I meant. At the I, I never denied God that. Had always planned. Your God planned the killing of children. I agree. That's right. <laughs> and He told His people to target them individually. Uh, okay. So that's what I've been saying all along. Thank you for proving it. That's what Muslims have been doing for thousands. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Look, wait a minute. Wait. wait, wait, wait. You said you haven't studied. Wait, wait. Have, you studied Have you studied the seerah? Have you studied the seerah? What happened? Have you studied the seerah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? We have enough. Have you studied it? No, I'm telling you this is what is... Wait a minute. Have you studied it or not? In every word... Have you studied the seerah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? No. You haven't. So you will not know this injunction of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, what he instructed his army before they went to war. He clearly instructs them not to kill the women and children. Wait, wait. Your Bible, on the other hand, says to kill the women and children. Do you not see the difference? Okay. Brother, forget about this one. Okay, is killing them alive. Yeah. So now, wait a minute. Do you know that Jesus himself, Jesus, Jesus himself in the New Testament, agrees with with the killing of children who are disobedient. Matthew, Matthew 15, 4. Matthew 15, 4. Go there. Okay. With war or without war. This is, yes, is close. All you need to be is to be disobedient yes, to your parents. Without and you war, with if you war. curse your parents, Matthew. You know what is the war? No, that's out of context. Okay, Matthew you put it in context. No, no, you put it in context. Find it. Find it. Find Matthew, it. Matthew 15, 4. He's right. looking for it. He's yeah, get Matthew 15. You, you put it in context. No problem. Yeah, 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 I, I know, I know. Read that passage again. Just read that. This Just read that. No, I can't believe they are justifying killing of children. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. The Christians today, the ones who go about advocating love no, no, no. are all of a sudden become baby killers there's no love in christianity no, let, let yeah. me read the no, he said he bring yeah, yeah, yeah. 15, matthew, matthew 15 4. read matthew please yeah you can you can read from the beginning louder, no problem please. Read the okay fine louder please don't okay. worry they said they'll blur, they'll blur your face out so please, please. You're, you're not going to appear Okay, yeah. Although I think you're Matthew 15, 15. 4. From 4. Okay. Yes. So God said, Honor your father and yes. mother. Whoever insults his father and mother yes. must be put to death. Thank and you. You say, if someone tells his father and mother, whatever help you have, that's Coburn, uh, received from God, he does not need to honor his father and mother. You have nullified without the word of God. Okay, um, yeah, without war. Do you understand? Without war, yeah. Did you understand what you read? Yeah. Okay, so what, what, what do you understand from that passage? So if somebody dis God says, who says that? God says, you know, God, brother, brother, I'm trying to have a conversation. Yes, thank you. Okay, so what I'm saying is this: if God says something, and if humans say something, whom should you believe? God. God. Okay. So Jesus over there is saying what God says. God says that anyone who curses their mother or father shall be put to death. Yeah. Do you agree with that? Yes. You agree with that? Yes. So if your if your child curses you, by the way, that's the New Testament, yeah. <laughs> not the Old Testament. If your child if your child curses the same you, thing with the Quran and yeah, 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 sure, sure, no problem. If you can show me anywhere in the Quran killing children, you know, kill your children, no problem. The the, the word here is for adults. Children, children. Do not come. Oh, children, oh, children means I'm adults. Saying children, adults. Unless come specifying, come unless adult, adult children. children. I'm a child of my parents. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, why, why does he say adult child? So I shall... Brother, stop it, brother. Stop it, please. One conversation. If you want, you can have another one later on, okay? Common sense. 
No, no, it's not common sense. No, this is Children, wait, wait. I don't know. So, so let me ask you this. Anyone who curses... Uh, I'm really shocked. Can I... Can I... Can I, can I, can I you're always shocked. Yeah. Unless it comes to killing babies, you're okay with no, that. No, 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 no. <laughs> Otherwise, he's shocked. It's so, let me ask you this. this if anyone curses the mother or father, where does it say another child? Hashim. Right? Where does it say that? Hashim, Hashim, please give me a second. It is talking about giving Koban here. Koban is a per giving the their wealth to the parents. Where does it say Koban? So clearly, it is... This is the word. Come here, come here. Where does it say it? Please. Why does it say that? Please don't discord it. You're, you're lying. I, I'm, I'm not lying. Show me why it says. Not good. I will tell anyone you. who curses a mother or father. I say to anyone, please, this is this is deception. I will what is deception? You're the one who are backtracking now. Please let me read it. Yeah, go read it. But but I say, if someone tells his father or mother, whatever you have received from me is a gift of God. This is talking about. Which version is that? Uh, Which version of the Bible is that? He, he changed the version of the Which Bible. Which version do you want me to read? I will read NIV. it. Oh. I will read it. Go, read it. By the way, which one did you just read? No, no. Which one did you just read? Which child? Which one did you just read? Which child? No, no. Which one did you just read? You see, he won't even answer. He runs away. Look, look, he runs away. Read an IV. Read an IV. Read an IV. Which which version? Okay, he's going to read it. He's going to read it. I'm not lying. In fact, you read it. I didn't read it. Yeah, read it from here. Was that? Nothing about wealth. Curses the parents. Those who curse the parents. Not well. Look how he changed. This is what the Pharisees did. They changed their twist. It's curse there. You're lying. You're lying. Okay, read it then. In fact, you read it in front of the camera. No, Mr. Hashim. You read it in front of the camera. It says anyone who curses the mother or father. Not well. You told me to read the whole passage. Very good. Because the whole passage gives you the context. Oh, so now you want the context? The context is whoever curses. Earlier he said it wasn't cursing. It was well. Let's let him read it. Okay, read. Read verse 3. No, no, read verse 3 then. Read verse 3. Okay. You'll be killed? You'll be killed for what? Because you curse your parents? No. Because I'm putting the Quran out of context. Where will you be killed? This is Speaker's Corner. You're not in India. I know, but I've seen violence here. I've seen violence here. I've been here only two weeks and I've seen violence here. From me? Thank you. So don't so don't try to push. I've seen violence from the Christians here as well. Which one? Which one? You are in the Christian. No, no. Read for read 15 uh, 4 and then read the context no problem because he, because he said he's a wealth not cursing he switched the but version of the bible you, anyone who curses his father or mother okay not wealth huh yeah yeah i'm trying to thank you <laughs> anyone who curses uh, anyone who curses his father or mother will be put to death. But I say to you, anyone who says to his father or mother, anything I have used to help you, yeah. which child is going to help that you know what this is? Who has to be killed? Let's decide. Coban, please ask any Jew. They will tell you what is Coban. Coban is. Can you please tell me who has to be killed? Instead of giving the Based on that, who has to be killed? Tell, please go talk to a Jew. They will tell you that what is Coban is to a gift given to God. And instead of giving, can you please answer the question? Giving to the parents, who has to be killed based on that? It, please. Listen. You, listen to you read it just now. What do you mean misquoted it? I'm reading it now. So tell me, according to that, what you just read. Wait a minute. According to, according to what you just read, who has to be killed? According to this, what he is saying is, who has to be killed? Uh, you're not. You're a dishonest person. Who has to be killed? The adult child. Does it say adult child? Because only the. By the way, what is an adult child? Does anybody know? Yeah, only an adult can. What's an adult child? Adult if you're an adult, you're not a child. English is that. If you're an adult, you're not a child. This is not you're like a Pharisee no, you're who switches the words. Twist the scripture. This is what the Pharisees. You know, this is the reason Jesus said, "Your snakes and vipers." Like the Pharisee changes the viper, the scripture. You are lying, brother. Another verse. Another verse. Another verse. Don't do what, brother. Another verse. Another verse. There's no Coban mentioned. Brother, another verse. Yeah, go on. Another verse. Another verse. My friend. Another verse. I can do the same. My friend. I will be you lost this one okay. badly. Another no, verse, my friend. I read it. Whoever's like a Pharisee, you twisted the passage. He's lying. Do not twist the passage like a Pharisee. Because Jesus said, You're snakes and vipers. Okay? You're a generation of adulterers. And this is what Jesus said to those Pharisees. And this is what you're doing. 
You are like a child of a Pharisee. If you another fast. I go another fast. Another fast. If you curse your mother or father, put them to death. You read it twice. You read it twice. Anyone who curses the mother or father shall be put to death. You read it twice. And twice, you twisted the passage. You are practicing takia. What takia? I read your Bible. Matthew 15. Are you running away? He's running. Oh, hit and run. Take care. Come here, come here. Don't run. Brother, another verse. Let me. We don't hide names and faces like you do. Yeah, give him another verse. He's running away already. Give him Revelation. Yeah, give him Revelation 2:23. By the way, you know, brother, if you're going to if you're going to reject your own Bible, then there's not much to do. Brother, anyone who curses the mother or father shall be put to death. That is what I heard from you. You. Another person, not from me. Him. Please let, him, let me give him another. Yeah, person. go on. By the way, listen, listen. Let Brother, come here. Another <laughs> person. Revelation. This is what happens when you get embarrassed. So, 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 Alhamdulillah. You know, have you have you noticed? He got embarrassed by reading the passage. He ran away, and the first time he got embarrassed because he didn't even want to read the passage in First First Samuel 15:3. He didn't even want to, want to. He was so embarrassed. He didn't want to even read it. Alhamdulillah. Look, Allah in the Quran or the Sunnah doesn't tell you to kill any babies, and they are saying it's okay to kill in certain circumstances. Okay. There was one question he never answered in full. Which one? Listen carefully again. So please take your time. I'm in no hurry to go.